I'm partnered with X Rocker. They have great quality products such as chairs, desks, accessories, and more. Feel free to check out the link down below in the description. And when checking out, use the code Ironix10 and get 10% off of any item of your choice. Hey guys, it's Rox here, and today we're making another Creatures of Scenario video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the newest and somewhat biggest <laughs> event that they have held in Creatures of Scenario. Because I feel like, honestly, with this one, you have a lot to do here. But I'm not going to take back biggest, because I'm not entirely sure that it is the biggest. But I'm going to, like, technically just call it a big, <laughs> a big update here. Because it basically is, it's a big little event. Big, I keep referring to things as being big little that like it really doesn't make any sense but i feel like you guys understand what i'm trying to say here like it is it is not huge it's not like that much but it is still like big for what we have seen with events you know that makes sense hopefully anyways though i'm gonna be going through how this works how you get the creatures for it and all that good stuff I will not be looking at any of the creatures at the moment because I do not actually have any of them. So, yeah, there's that. But I just wanted to kind of let you guys know how to do that because that's always fun. <laughs> Plus, I was actually trying to do it myself for once and then I realized that there was a lot to it. And then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe when I have time. And you, you know me, I usually don't have time. So, <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Most likely, maybe not. We might get to see him at some point, hopefully. I'm, I'm slacking, guys. I'm sorry. I am slacking. Usually, I'm pretty good at staying updated with all new creatures, but I'm slacking. <laughs> Alright, so anyways. First thing, as we can see, there's a new button on our screen, which is in the top left that says Donate for Rewards. So, clearly, <laughs> that's going to relate to our event. So, if we click on this, ooh, go back to this one. So right here, this screen, it says donate amount, and then you have a little zero bar, and then you have a donate bar. And then it says 2,500 shrooms donated total by you, which is how much I have donated so far, to no. know. So it does keep track for you once you donate them, you don't have to donate it again. You do have to keep donating to get to like a certain amount, but you don't have to like donate again once you've already donated a certain amount. Also, for some reason, it just tells you global donation goal. So <laughs> that does also change once it reaches its goal because it has reached its goal way too many times like, wait is it already past its goal yeah it's a 500 million and it says 200 million so it's already past its goal again oh my goodness this just shows you like how how much a try hard everybody else is at this game <laughs> but it, it kind of just lets you know that a lot of other people are doing this with you and it's not just you and clearly <laughs> there's a, there's a good amount of people doing this as well so yay fun stuff so why do we need to donate though that that is right here in little mission stab yay okay so as you can see there is four creatures with this event fun stuff <laughs> and they all have their own little mission and it also tells you how to complete these missions yay okay so first things to point out though anything highlighted in yellow is the amount of shrooms that you're going to have to donate in order to first even like unlock that little area because i had to donate i think i had to donate first and actually complete the mission so you know i think it's donate first do a mission and then you know unlock the next one this is, i'm pretty sure how that's going maybe not i haven't even tried <laughs> i mean i haven't even tried to swim yet so maybe we can actually probably test that out yeah, anyways okay but anyways, as we can see though, the first one, you only have to donate 2,500, in which I did. That is really all I had, so so I did that. As you can see, I still have 5,000, but I was like, I'm not going to donate more than that. So, yay, we unlocked that one, but now, after we donate, there's more to it. <laughs> so next, you have to travel as a terrestrial creature, which means a creature on its legs, not flying, not swimming, you have to walk around a certain amount of studs and it will slowly slowly but surely count up to no 35,000 studs three yeah three studs that would be great anyway so 35,000 which I mean honestly it is only about like 30 minutes of walking <laughs> not not that much guys definitely not Anyways, though, moving on to the next one. So this one, you have to donate 10,000. 
Whoa. So for this one though, you have to travel 20,000 studs. So that is less, but you have to do it while swimming. <laughs> and I am not too fond of that. That is just, that is not it for me. I, I don't know. I just don't really like swimming at all in this game. And the fact that I have to do it for a certain amount of time to get like a certain amount of studs, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, though, also, also, while you are in the big deep blue swimming around, you also have to kill 50 NPC fish. So, yeah, you gotta, you gotta kinda do a, a little bit more, but also a little less, because you don't gotta move around as much, so it probably only take you like 20 minutes. Who knows? Who's counting? I really don't know. Anyways, that's a lot of swimming and fish killing. But once you do that, you unlock the next one. Yay! In our next one here, you need to donate 15,000. I feel like an issue here is while also completing all these tasks, you also have to get shoes. So, yeah, there's a lot to it. Anyways, for this one though, after you donate, you must experience these seasons. But I'm pretty sure it's as a flying creature. Yeah, there you go. I was like trying to read where it says that. So it says you must experience these seasons slash weathers withers with a flyer so anything that has wings you have to be playing as something with wings in order for this to work so you got a oh, one that just walks one that swims and one that flies fun <laughs> so you have to experience summer winter cherry blossom blossoms because apparently that's a whole nother thing windstorm fall fog spring rain famine <laughs> what and snow awesome great okay so i feel like honestly though you can experience all that in like one day of playing the game or you can literally like hop from server to server like i feel like you definitely can experience all of those pretty quickly i say pretty quickly definitely not quickly it will take a while <laughs> but i feel like you'll definitely get through that one a lot easier than all of these i feel like I was gonna say, like, in a sense, you could basically, like, complete both of these. I don't know if it, like, pays attention to whether or not you're as, a, like, a flyer or if it's really just the fact that you're walking. Because maybe you could have, like, a flyer on, but you're just walking around. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're experiencing the seasons, but you're also getting in those studs. Maybe I haven't tried it again. That would be a good little, like, hack a two. <laughs> so... Maybe if that works, that would be a good idea there. Maybe find a little cheat to that. Anyways, last one is the Warden, which honestly, okay, I haven't seen it in full body, but headshot wise, it's looking fantastic. And I honestly think, I'm just gonna throw this out here, but I might be incredibly wrong. This guy might just be like up there with the Boreal Warden because just like, just looking at him and the fact that it takes so much to get it, I definitely feel like this guy's gonna be like pretty rare probably not that rare but once it's gone I think a lot of people will probably be freaking out and really wanting it so yeah anyways all you have to do for this one though is donate 35,000 total and then just complete all the other missions previously so yeah you know it's not like too difficult for that one it's just the fact that you had to do every other one before that. <laughs> that that's, why, that's why it is difficult. Okay, so what does it say down here? You must complete the following missions before or after donating the required amount. Yeah, okay, so that's what I said at the beginning. So you have to donate the certain amount first, and then you can get to actually doing the mission. That's what I was thinking, although I didn't even read that part, I kind of just did that because it seemed most logical, because <laughs> it was asking for donations first. But anyways, yeah, whenever you're ready to donate, you go back here. See, look, I'll, I'll just donate some right now. 2,000, donate, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Ta-da, we donated, and that adds to the global donation goal. <laughs> like, it, like it needs more shrooms, not really, but <laughs> I wonder who that honestly like goes to. I feel like, I feel like that definitely goes to someone afterwards, which would be really funny if it did. Like, so, some of, like, one of the developers just, like, screenshots their screen with over, like, 500 million shrooms. <laughs> I mean, like, they're just basically just getting donated to. That, that sounds pretty funny. I like that idea. <laughs> I like that they're basically just charity. <laughs> and we're all giving into it because we get creatures for it fun stuff anyways though that is how you do that also just wanted to quickly let's walk around a bit just to prove that 
walking does do, you know, you know when you know. So as you can see, it's actually raining right now. So if I go here and I pull up missions, you can kind of like literally have it pulled up while you- There's a lot of people over there. A lot. Okay, this way though, because I actually did die. <laughs> if you can't tell from all the bleeding, I did die with this creature and then I revived it. But as you can see right here, it is slowly moving up. I say slowly, it actually seems to move like pretty quickly, but I just don't have the patience to like sit here for that long. So, I mean, honestly, it's not like that insanely difficult, okay? Like, it, it's not. <laughs> Nothing to complain about. But yeah, that's, that is that. Also, okay, mentioning the fact that I died though, I realize that once you die now, there's a new little screen afterwards that literally rates your death. Like, the way that you lived, and it literally gives you a ranking based off of it. I thought it was so funny because I was about to make this video. I was standing still, like, prepping up whatever the heck I was doing. And then I just saw two people come up to me and start killing me. And then, like, little scream came up. And my death got rated with a D. <laughs> and I was like, what? What? Like, I what? what? Like, I what? <laughs> It was like, you died shortly after becoming an adult. And I was like, well, jeez. <laughs> and I got a D for that. Like, that, I was like, how do you get an A on dying? Like, that is... <laughs> I don't know, man. I just feel like I should, like, bring that up, though. Because I thought that was, like, really funny. And maybe you guys haven't, like, died in a while. So maybe maybe you're like me and didn't know that it does that now. That's, that's really funny, though. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, part of the squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!